This is Pastor Chef. My name is Christopher Devon Stackhouse, Senior Pastor at Lewis Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. One church, three locations in Fayetteville, in Rayford, and connected wherever you are. And in Pastor Chef Kitchen today, we have another special guest chef. I'll let him introduce himself. Hi, uh, my name is Kenneth Davis. I'm originally from Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Rocky Mountain. Yeah, I always forget you from Rocky Mountain. <laughs> Rocky Mountain, straight up I-95. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very familiar with Rocky Mountain. Uh, one of my one of my fraternity brothers I played with is from Rocky, Rocky Mountain. Mountain. Uh, yeah, uh, he's a very good brother. You're a very good brother. Rocky Mountain got some good brothers some good, coming good, out of Good, good, good chunks. Yeah, yeah, some good people. Good. So, uh, what are we going to make? We will be making a white potato pudding today using my mother's homemade recipe. Betty Mae Davis, this is her recipe. My favorite homemade dessert is this. And I love it so much that I told her one day I need to learn how to make it so that instead of going to Rock and Out all the time, and uh, I can make it myself and then eat it. And yep. she was all right with that? She was all right with sharing the recipe? Sharing the recipe, yeah. Right. Well, actually, she didn't have a recipe. She just took, cook, cook everything by taste. So I told her to get your ingredients and then we'll measure out because she just does her thing from taste. I got it, I got it. So I'll be honest with you. I've never heard of, what is it? White, white potato pudding. And white most, potato most pudding. Most people have not. I've never heard, has it, heard have of it. Have any of you ever heard of white <laughs> potato pudding? If you haven't, you tune in on the right day because we're about to teach you something new. White potato, okay, so where do we start with white potato pudding? Okay, this, uh, this recipe calls for starting out with a five pound bag of white potatoes. And on the and recipe- this is how many people could eat? Well, uh, I could eat this whole one that we could Oh my God, oh, okay. I could eat this, but it should, by servings, you should be able to serve at least 12, 15 people. Oh, 12, by, 15, okay, all right. But you know how, you know, sometimes, those oh, big, I, those big heat. I get it. Yeah, yeah. It, it all real yeah, portion size. Really portion size varies. Portion size uh, varies. Who's making the plate? Portion size varies. It so, does. Okay. So uh, we started out with the five. Oh, well, I started out with the five pound bag because that's yeah. how I could buy them and I could measure them out either five or ten pounds. Yeah. So regular uh, baked potatoes and uh, on the recipe it says cook to taste because apparently all of these, some of these have different flavors or different textures. So you see the Idaho or the Montana. So I just grab a bag of. Uh, Potatoes. Okay. Or regular baked potatoes. Okay. So you're gonna peel, wash, and bake for a uh, wash, and cook for about 30 minutes till it gets soft. Okay. And you wanna mush it like uh, potatoes. Peel them, wash, wash them, them, bake them for about 30 minutes. No, boil them. Boil them. Boil them for okay. About 30 minutes. Peel them, wash them, boil them for about 30 minutes. And you wanna wash them until there's no salt or dirt in the water. The water should be completely white. Yeah, completely clear. Y'all heard that? Don't have dirty water. No dirty water. Don't have you. You so want the first you couple of washes going to be dirty, so you keep washing until the water is completely, uh, completely clear. That's a labor of love. <laughs> completely clear. Yeah, that's a labor okay. of love. Okay. Okay. And then once they are cooked, you're going to just pour them in your mixing bowl. So this is the cooked this version. This is the cooked version. All right. You see that? So we already have some that have been washed, peeled, and boiled, and now we put them in our bowl. Okay. Now you're gonna add uh, butter and one stick of butter and one stick of margarine. One stick of butter. That's interesting. He, uh, and I asked mix why, it like why that. one stick of butter and one stick of margarine. And I the reason they was, have different uh, textures or something like that. So is I, it I, salted? Is yes. It? Well, salted. But uh, yeah. one is. She explained to me why you use the two different ones. I said, why not just use two uh, two sticks of butter or two sticks of margarine? But that's not what the chef calls for. Right. Shell calls for one stick of one stick of butter and one stick of margarine. And you want to do this while they're still warm, so that the butter, the sugar, and all that will uh, melt. Yeah. So, just in case you, you missed that, these potatoes are still hot. They're, they're still warm. So, brother Ken said you want to add the the butter and margarine while it's still warm. And old fashioned way, you're just gonna have to start mashing. <laughs> all right, okay. That is, yeah, all right. That doesn't seem to be going. All right. To mix in, so you got, got uh, uh, four eggs and a cup of milk. Four eggs, four eggs and a cup of milk, all right. Okay. 
shows you wanted that that egg beater, but no, this is manual. No, this, no, no, this, <laughs> I'm actually enjoying getting mm -hmm. getting the uh, work in. These say five cups. Five of sugar. cups of sugar. All right. All, all out. Got it. Let now, me stop right there. Now we're going to start with two tablespoons of uh, vanilla. And the interesting thing about this is that I found out if you're using imitation on the recipe, it calls for two tablespoons. But if you're using pure vanilla, you use uh, a fourth of that. So we're using imitation, so we can use the two tablespoons of vanilla. All right. Hold on. Did, did y'all get that? Let, let's say that one more time. If so. you're using pure uh, lemon, uh, correction, vanilla flavoring, you will use a fourth of that. So, all right. Uh, all right. So we're using two tablespoons because we have imitation vanilla. Mm. Two tablespoons. And again, two tastes. So after we put the two in. And again, uh, yeah, my mom just like, did you pour some stuff in? I was like, oh, let's, let's measure. <laughs> let's measure. Yeah. But, and now the lemon flavor that we're going to use, that is uh, pure lemon. So instead of the two tablespoons, we're gonna use a uh, half teaspoon. Okay. Uh, lemon flavor is pure, uh, pure uh, lemon flavor. All right, so since we have pure lemon flavor, we're gonna put, how much you say? The half teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Just one half teaspoon. One half teaspoon. Got it. And then of course, after we taste it later on, we might wanna add a little bit. Tablespoon of yellow food color, right. and again, that is if you want it really, really yellow, uh, you can add more. If you are, uh, um, you don't want pretty yellow already. Uh, oh no, oh no, that's no. <laughs> All right, you say one tablespoon one of the yellow. Yellow. This yellow is coming out red. Is this the? Yes. Okay. And, then, and trust me, when I first y'all don't see that though, right? That I, is when I first did the yellow thought, coming out of the red. I, saw, I thought I, they labeled it wrong, and then of course you make some phone calls, and you find out no, it it, it really is. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now we're gonna mix all of it up. We got one more thing to put in, but we're gonna get all that mixed together. Um, should I do that with the spoon or should I? Either or. You can do it with the spoon right. or you can do it with that. Good to stir it and mix. Now before we put our flour, because the only thing the flour is gonna do mm -hmm. is thicken it up or brown it while we're going to be cooking. Okay. So now we want to do a taste test to see what it's what it's like. I don't know what it's supposed to taste oh, like, okay. so you you do the taste test. So then, I'll do, do the taste, taste test, test we'll, and then we'll here you one, then you, I'll let you know that that's uh, that's what it should taste. So you want to just take a little bit, and then what you think? You done good. Yeah, is that? Yeah, you done, yeah. You done good. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, you done good. Well, okay. I'm gonna teach you. Yeah, I think you did good. Okay. So you want to sample that now? Right, uh, like, just sample that now. That's uh, what it should uh, taste like. You right. I'm a little nervous to get down in there. Right. I, I'm a. It's okay. Yeah, I'm a little. Yeah, I'm a. I'm a go. No, I'm. I should have done a little bit. So it doesn't taste like potatoes or anything like that. It no, it just nice tastes like a sweet kind of slurry. Yeah. Okay, so now the only thing we gotta add now that's not gonna change anything is your coconut. You're gonna add a, a cup of uh, coconut. I like coconut. Now this is to... another big curveball right here. <laughs> this this is a menagerie of ingredients that I would not have put together in my wildest wow. dreams. We have white potatoes. Mm -hmm. We have eggs. Eggs. We have five cups of sugar. Mm -hmm. We All have plus. <laughs> we have vanilla. We have lemon. We have yellow. Food color. And then, oh, and we have milk, yep. and then before it's all said and done, coconut. At least a cup and a half, uh, so I just feel one of, these, one of these up. I like coconut, so sometimes I'll do two cups. Um, if you're not a coconut fan, some people have asked, can they make it without coconut? And um, I, I don't know, I wouldn't eat it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't eat it. You say you can, but you why probably, would? You probably can, I, I don't know, but I, yeah. I wouldn't. So you, can, so you can make it without the coconut, yeah. you just prefer. I just prefer not to. Uh, not to. Got it. 
I don't know how it would or how it would taste. You say you just fill up? Yep, I just fill up the cup. Now you're gonna just add in one fourth tablespoon of flour. And I think that's your fourth. Uh, one fourth. And that's the flour in that little cup right here. We're gonna add? Yes, that much flour. This much flour? Right. You could add more. This add much flour. More. But the more flour you add, the thicker it's gonna be, and then uh, it's gonna be, yeah. Is it all purpose flour? Yes. All purpose flour, okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Get a dash in there. There we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> and uh, typically, while you're doing this, you want to preheat your oven to 350. All right. So it's time to preheat the oven to 350. And how long will this stay in the oven? You're gonna cook it for at least 90 minutes, or until it's golden brown, or the color that you, the color that you like. Got it. Right. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 350. We're gonna put it in for at least 90 minutes until it's golden brown or at least to the way you like it. To the way we want. All right, you want it. Got it? Okay, so what, we put this in the bowl? In the bowl, in the bowl. And you can refrigerate it, so if, like, if you're making this much and you wanna eat just a little bit, you can refrigerate the, uh, the rest. And I've kept it for at least a week or so. Okay, because by a week, you had eaten it all. It's all ready. Yeah, yeah, so. It's ready to re-up. Right, it's okay. ready. Okay, so I'm just pouring it in here. You're just gonna pour it in there. Uh, how high? How high am I pouring? Uh, about halfway. Right. About halfway so there's gonna be some there. some left over. There. Okay. All right. When you cook your potatoes mm -hmm. and you peel them, mm -hmm. sometimes there's those little uh, things, uh, dark spots that's still in the potatoes. Mm -hmm. So once I, and they don't taste different, but I'll just take those out. Yeah. See, I I'm, I'm when like it comes out. You don't wanna. Um, so sometimes I just look to make sure that none of those didn't, yes. does another right. like did not did not escape. I try to cut them out while you're doing the potatoes, but after you peel them, sometimes you miss some, and it doesn't uh, mess up the taste. Okay. All right. Be right back. All right, it's ready, so let's. There it is. White potato, potato pudding with my special um, oven mix. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. That's the kind of glaze we want. Yes. All right, that's the kind of glaze we want. So we're going to we're going to get our our bowls together, and then we're going to. And then we're gonna taste this white potato pudding. All right. All right, we'll be right back. All right, King, you can go ahead and grab yours. Okay. And I will hand the ladies theirs. He thought he was gonna say Grace Camp. <laughs> he already read. Hey, listen, he, when, when it's good, you gotta get to it. Let, let's pray. <laughs> God, we are so thankful for this food. Thankful for Brother Kid coming to bless our kitchen with his presence and his recipe. Please bless this food to use for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. All right, let's try it. All right. All right, this is, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Oh, no, don't be nervous. I'm a little nervous. We always enjoy it. That's good. What if we take my extreme favorite is you take this now, put it in a uh, smaller pan, mm -hmm. and then burn it. <laughs> well, but not burn it, but crisp. You want to crisp. I like mine crisp. That's really good. It's good. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't think of what to compare it to. Mm. It is uh, it's sweet. Yum. Mm -hmm. It's uh. It's thick, but not. Not too thick. Yeah, it is. And that's where your flour comes in. So if you want it thicker, then you put like, to taste. Mm -hmm. So you put more flour. Mm -hmm. But I don't like it really thick because then it's like a pudding where you cut. Kind of like a pie without the like, hot crust. It's kind of like the 
And it's good though. When you did uh, our good. taste test, mm -hmm. so it tastes just like the taste test prior to. You know? mm -hmm. So you want to do that little taste test before. Like, oh, now I need some more vanilla flavoring. I need some more lemon. And then the yellow work is up to you how, how yellow you want it. <laughs> this is uh, this is surprisingly good. Yeah. Uh, we, we've had it several times. Past. Yeah. It's very good. Like, what, what do you, what do you uh, think about uh, what, what is Betty May Harris Davis mm -hmm. white potato pudding? It's on. Miss Betty May Miss Betty did a great did job. It. <laughs> you gotta put cinnamon in it. Man, yeah, I don't, I don't know. You, 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 I think it's good. You got, you got yeah, yeah, I think, you, I, you got I, previous I, sister Rick. I think yeah, yeah, she hit it just. Yeah, now yeah. in yours, you can try one way. Yours, I am. Yeah. Yeah. The taste. Yeah, the taste. Hey, let, the taste. let us know how it right, goes. Right, then taste it. Right. This is good, brother. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is surprisingly delicious because, like I said, when you when you see those ingredients, mm -hmm. you know how is this going to come together? It comes together well. It comes mm -hmm. together very well. Well, it was very well. Now I see why y'all couldn't wait to get it. It came right. together yeah, very well. Now I see why you eat so much of it. It came together well. And you see why we don't want to share. So, oh, there it is. Betty Mays white potato pudding. Betty Mays white potato pudding by way of Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. All right. uh, the only place you'll probably ever hear about, hear about it. it. I get the recipe. It's right here in Pastor Chef's Kitchen. Anything you want to say, uh, say anything to your no, mom it, on the way out? Enjoy. Hey, finally made you famous, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> At least in Fayetteville. All right. Okay. Now, yeah, ladies. Delicious. Thank you, Brother Ken, for coming and being a part of our Thank pastor you. chef. Thank, Thank you so much. Took, took, took us a while to get you here. Yeah, we yeah. he's been had to counsel a couple of times when we finally got him well, here. Well, good things coming to those who wait. Yes, That's exactly. Right. It yeah. was good. All right. Well, we're on the way out. We will see you next week with all new episode, all new recipe. And until then, be safe, be blessed. Yes. Take care. Bye.